Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back to another single player episode. Uh, this time around, I was going to try something new. Um, so this is in beta testing, but it's the new Bucksaw. Um, so this guy is still in beta testing. Um, I'm going to try playing with it a little bit just in this single player video. I don't know how much goodness we're going to get out of it, but I think it's ready for at least a little bit of a, a, little bit of a test. So from the old one, you can see it's uh, changed color. It's now got a little bit of orange in there instead of yellow. I figured we had enough yellow machines, so it was time to change it up a little bit. Um, the trailer's been changed a little bit, different colors, different things. Um, some of the textures are still kind of ugly. I'm working on putting proper textures. Like for some odd reason, this thing's all wacky and black. It's not supposed to go through the thingy, but uh, like I said, just little stuff we're working on to try to shine it up a little bit because it's a little hideous at the moment. Um, but this guy should be coming out in, well, depends when this video comes out, but it should be in August anyway. This may be in August by the time this comes out. Sometime in August, maybe second week of August or something like that. So what I'm going to do is I might drag this out to our site, and we're going to create ourselves some short logs. One problem I am having with it right now is the weight. So it needs to be a very heavy machine, but it's almost a little too heavy to haul uh, properly. And the tires don't seem to settle as well as they should, so. I uh, wish I could do something with those. I can't really do anything with that. We'll see. I'm also working on... I'm not supposed to tell you guys about this yet. It's kind of a secret. But I guess it's pretty much August, so... It'll be sometime near the end of August, maybe September. We'll see how it goes. I'm working on a new uh, self-loader. It's actually a very, very pretty self-loader that was modeled to be a self-loader, so it's not kind of a Frankenstein half-truck monstrosity. It's actually a full-blown truck with a loader thingy on it, so um, that'll be cool. You guys will be seeing more of that coming up, hopefully, when I do beta testing with these single-player episodes. Uh, but for the time being, uh, it's only a rumor for now. I'll just leave it in rumor land. So what I was going to try, I was going to try picking off some of these longs, I think. Now, I don't know what the best tactic is for doing this, so we're just going to park this guy right here. Move this out of the way. Shut her down. So now, one problem I am having, like I said, the weight is so much that it makes the trailer slide a little bit. So I'm working on kind of finding a good, happy weight. So if you see when I move the trailer, it starts to slide. You can see better in this view. See the tires kind of slide off the ground a bit? Just because there's a little bit too much weight, maybe not enough spring in the tires, I'm not really sure just yet what's causing it. We're going to expand this out. Now, one thing I did do, I'm not going to tell you because it's my secret sauce, but I did uh, something new to that saw so that it cuts miraculously better. So we're going to grab a couple just to kind of do a, a demo run. And like I said, this is in very much like scary beta mode, so excuse any of the glitchy glitches you're going you're gonna to witness here. Oh, we got some little ones in there too. Well, we did have a little one in there. Now it's gone. So, as always, the idea is to bring it up close to the trailer. I'm going to put more in there because I really want to test this saw out. I can turn this thing on, too. I don't, I don't know if turning it on has any purpose whatsoever, but we'll do it. There we go. So we're just going to plop all of this in here. Uh, let's see here. I gotta get. I want a better picture of this. I took one at the beginning, but I, I didn't like it. So let's uh, let's make a nice thumbnail here. If we can get one of it lifting, I don't know if I'm good enough to leave that like that. Oh, that looks pretty cool. What do you think? It'd look even cooler if that loader wasn't there. Excuse me while I spend half the episode uh, recording me taking a picture of it. You can just go park this across the street. This one's like, but I want to be in the picture. And you're like, no, you've got way too many thumbnails based on you already, big guy. So calm your jets, okay? Calm them. All right, so uh, I would like kind of a profile from the front. Ooh, that's pretty good. I like that. That'll be our thumbnail for sure. If that doesn't get us some views, I don't know what will. All right, so we're going to drop this down in here. Uh... Bloop, bloop, bloop. Okay, then we slide them all up. Got this little rotator platey deal. See, now everything kind of wiggles a little bit because those tires aren't settling on the ground proper. That's something I got to fix. That's pretty good. That's nice and tight. 
So now uh, our star saw is out at full leg, so I can just chop. Let's see how good it chops. So it doesn't make any kind of like um, effect. Like there's no dust that comes off of them. But it seems to cut them better than I've ever cut them. I think it cut them all, didn't it? Yeah, it did. It cuts them so quick that it uh, doesn't really leave any uh, time to notice. But now we're going to grab these from the front. Oops, and drop them all over the place. Now I'm going to pile these kind of half long ones over here. Just because these will make really nice um, spliceable logs because they're a little bit longer than the other ones. So. And then we can go from the front bunk. Now what I did do is turn collisions off from this claw to the bunk. So you can technically reach this claw right through the whole machine if you really want to. A whole bunch of people requested a dangle claw on this thing instead of fixed. So we did put the dangle on there. So I think a whole bunch of guys who have actually run this equipment will be very excited because that's what the real ones are like. So there we go. See how you can kind of go through the ground on it? Now, I did that for a reason, because if you make it so it can hit the deck, whoa, man, that claw don't like to do things. It freaks right out, I'll tell you. So, I don't want that. So, I made it so it can go through, especially good for new people who don't have a clue what they're doing and need practice on stuff. So, as you can see, we're slowly getting further away from our deck because our machine is sliding. <laughs> so, that'll be something that I obviously will uh, have fixed, hopefully, by the time it comes public whether I have to do that voodoo that I do, and I'll make it work. All right. Kind of choked up on those ones a little hard there. All right, there we go. So yeah, my main focus, uh, like I said, uh, I probably said it in the last video. That was uh, yesterday or whenever. Um, my main focus now is to spend this weekend on making this guy 100%. I want to fix some of the textures because currently the textures are a bit fugly. So I don't know what I can do for textures. I'm not like a super texture guy, but I can try to get some of that baked material to look a little bit more uh, realistic. Now what I did do on this claw is I made it so it doesn't have a lot of swing to the actual claw itself. That way... Um, when I go to pick up logs, it almost acts as a heel boom because it lifts them pretty well. So you guys will experience that when you get your chance. Snip. I just love how good it cuts now. It's just so good. <gasps> it didn't cut that one. After I just commented on how good the cutting was. There it went. It's not perfect, but it's a crap ton better. Remember my old one? You used to literally have to just like run it on there for like an hour and a half. And it still wouldn't make them nice. So this way is actually quite nice. Still makes a nice big mess for those guys who like having a messy area where their buck saw is working. You guys take great pride in the messiness of their buck saw. There we go. I think once I get this tire thing fixed, she's going to be one efficient little bugger, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Pretty excited about it. Oops. There we go. I wonder if we can just bat that one in there. I don't know how heavy this claw is. Oops. See if we can just kind of shimmy shamble it in there. There we go. Beauty. Whoops. Well, almost beauty. Cool. Alright, so... Yeah, the buck saw is pretty cool. I like using it. It's something different. Changes things up a little bit. Um, they kind of got all these little bits. So technically what I could do and what I probably will do is go over with my loader now. Uh, how much time we got? We got enough for... Oh, man. We don't have quite enough. I can sort the yard, though, before we go. That's what I'll do. Oops. That's why you never face your head in reverse. Because then the person steps on the pedals thinking they're going to go forward. And they go in reverse and drive it right through the tractor and blow shit up. I should also get a, um, a one of those thingies that sucks up the wood chips out here, too. Wood chipping is something uh, several people have asked me to get into now that I'm running out of ideas for mods. So they want conveyors, they want chipper conveyors, they want that kind of stuff. So 
I don't have a lot of experience playing with those, so maybe I'll just get into it for fun uh, this summer. Maybe make some hardcore chipping stuff. That's kind of... I don't know. It's a challenge, right? I'm always up to try new weird things. It's just... Um, I haven't experienced it yet, so we'll see. Let's see if we can go like this. Let's try to keep all the longs in one pile here. Even the semi-longs. Excellent. And then these are kind of like half-assed shorts, I guess. And maybe what I'll do is take these and combine them with that pile up top there. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. I don't know if I can reach over this pile, but I'm going to try. I think it's a little too far. Oh, that's alright. There we go. And these are kind of all over the place because they're wiggly. See where my little feet are here. I got some different sizes. So we still have shorts up top from when we cut the top end, but they kind of fall off. I don't really have a system for that on the Bucksaw. So you can just come by with a loader and kind of collect them up. It should technically make three rows of pretty similar sized shorts. I, I don't think they're absolutely to the T perfect size, but they're pretty close. Now, granted, this is also me pre-cutting these to like 15. So if you cut them to 15s, they're pretty uh, pretty even. If you're using a full length log that's just delimbed, you're gonna have a big ugly top and that's just a top you can keep, a top you can load, burn, chip, whatever you want. That looks good. I kinda wanna get these out of here too, honestly. I think they're gonna cause problems when it comes loading time I'm just gonna kerplunk these over here for now and grab this one come here little friend come to papa all right that looks good uh, that's kind of like a weird stick, so I'm just going to slide that back in there. That is trash. I'm just going to put that over in the trash pile here. Oh, there's a long over there. See what's that one doing? It's probably a long lost long. There we go. Let me grab this one. And put that in here. And yeah, so now we got a few piles of shorts, we got some longs, we got some funky sizes. Just stuff to play with, that's the way I look at it. I might grab this actual pile here. And as our final tip for the video, I'm gonna slide these up front here. And it looks like we're getting some good piles to load here now, so we might be able to do a full load in the next one just to get the logs cleared up. Or what I could do... See, what I like to do is I, I hate doing the same video in a row like where I don't like to process for two videos in a row if I can help it I don't like to load two videos in a row just because it's you know I like to change things up so um what I might do is we'll load in one process cut change it up buckshot uh the buckshot is such a neat toy needs a little bit of work but it's a it's a neat toy just ugly as beans. I gotta fix some of the shaders, some of this weird black thing that's going on here. I don't know what happened there. And, uh, yeah. I think I'll make the whole deck black just because those shadows are really, like, glitchy. I don't like these big black blotches and bleh. It ain't pretty. So, yeah, it's called the Sphinx. The Sphinx. I think it says Bucksaw over here somewhere. Bucksaw. Except this texture is really odd. It looks, like, way too... I don't know what's going on there looks really bland. I don't remember it looking like that in the other thing, but I'm going to play with all these and make it actually look proper. So by the time you guys actually see this, it'll probably, I mean, it'll still be the same color scheme that's on there, but hopefully the textures are way better looking than this because I'm, I'm moderately concerned by this texture tap. So we'll change it up. Um, I think that puts us pretty much at the end of our video here. So 
yeah, if you guys like the video, leave a like, uh, leave a comment, that kind of fun stuff. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. But we will catch you on the next one. So we'll see you later. Bye.